Yo, what's up? It's Jason. I'm back with another video and we have come to the end of the line actually with this video. It's the end of the train here. Um, the thread, the alphabet thread that was started many months ago, I believe November, sometime November last year. And uh, by Jacob at Jacob's Music Channel. He has since moved on from his channel, but um, some of us can have continued on. Um, Steve now over at All the Worlds of Stage, I believe he did the entire alphabet in about two weeks, and maybe he was smart to do that. Uh, I've sort of spread mine out. And now here we are. This is going to be the last installment of the alphabet. I do promise. I actually did this entire series once before, a couple years ago. If you look in the archives, I don't know if it's still they're still up or not, but I did this entire thing with my CD collection, which was a bit more comprehensive, actually, than what I've been doing with the vinyl. So with the vinyl, it's been a little bit more random pulls. Um, obviously not going to show every single record I have in the collection. Uh... We'd be here for days, but uh, I don't have too many in the XYZ um, sections, but uh, we'll go through them. We're going to start off with X, obviously. I don't have the band X, just spoiler alert. In fact, I think I only have one X record I'm going to show. That doesn't make sense, but I'm going to show Zentrix. The UK traditional metal, heavy metal, speed metal, band... I believe this record's from the 90s, like early 90s. This is the famous concert now, 1991, uh, South Wales, uh, January 19th to 24th, 1991, which apparently Mark G with a C uh, was at, or has some connection to this album. I'll let you go check out his channel sometime. Excellent, excellent metal channel in the Metal VC. A uh, great guy, and he uh, occasionally tells the story about the Eccentrics, uh, Eccentrics uh, concert and album, Dilute to Taste. Good album. Just lucked on, uh, got lucky on finding that for uh, 20 bucks, but not bad for an OG. Now we're going to go into W, sorry, we're going to go into Y next. Keeping it metal here on the Y tip. The infamous, well, not famous, Ingve J. Malmsteen with his guitar. Um, probably the first time I ever bought an album that was completely instrumental uh, as a kid and guitar based. Um, but man, the guy could shred, right? And he did all that kind of like, you know, special picking that kind of Eddie Van Halen also did as well, tapping and picking and all that kind of stuff. So. There he is on the back, Yngwie. Now, I think he did have vocalists uh, on later records, but I think this album is completely instrumental. This is from 1984. Polydor, um, Polydor Japan does a Canadian pressing. Rising Force by Yngwie. Next up, an old favorite of mine. Uh, an old industrial band from Belgium, I believe. Get the Young Gods. The only Young Gods record I own, actually, uh, it's not even a full length, it's just a single. This is Did You Miss Me and the Erdem Boys, both killer tracks. I remember them both from the 80s. Uh, it's got a real pumping kind of force to them. Fast paced. It's on organic, uh, great industrial, heavy drumming. If you're into like Test Department or um, even like Old School Ministry or... Skinny Puppy, I guess. Young Gods. Another band to check out. Lie Back a little bit. Newer School. Industrial next. Youth Code. Seen these guys live. They're a duo, I think from L.A., and they opened up for Skinny Puppy and Frontline Assembly. One year, one tour that I saw in Montreal. <clears throat> Absolutely killer. Jumping around, banging away. This is a remix, a sort of slightly remix album. I believe side A is original tracks, and side B yeah, has all the remixes of uh, different tracks, not the same ones, but including a Silent Servant uh, remix, R.I.P. Silent Servant. This came out on Dace, Dace label. Youth Code. Good band. Next up, 
we've got a little bit of synth pop here. I've got a single and the album. Actually, great outfit from the UK. We've got Yaz. And uh, this is the single for Don't Go. Huge, huge track. Additional production by Daniel Miller of Mute Records. Um, but I believe, wasn't Yaz... Um, the guy from uh, Vince Clark, yeah, from uh, from Depeche Mode. This is the album. Upstairs at Eric's, good album. This has "Don't Go" and also um, "Only You." Situation is also on this. Huge tracks. Uh, 1982 <clears throat> on mute and uh, Canadian Press on Wea. So yes, <clears throat> then we got a little bit of funk, funk and soul. Yarborough and Peoples. Yarborough and Peoples record. Got it for a whole two bucks. Uh, it's called Be a Winner, and that is really the best track on this one. No, sorry, I lied. The opening track is the best one. Don't Waste Your Time, it's called. Very cool track. Uh, I've heard it sampled in some house songs and then recognized it from the sample when I heard it and picked it up. So Yarborough and Peoples, who I think have... Did some other stuff writing wise this is on total experience records 1980 i'm thinking on this thing let's just see here 1984 actually there you go now i got three left to show all in the letter z or z sticking on a funk tip right now we got zap roger aka roger toutman Roger Zap Tubman. Great stuff. Um, this has the killer track, More Bounce to the Ounce, on this one as well, which is sampled by EPMD uh, back in the 80s. Uh, everybody was big on that track. Such a killer hip-hop track. But yeah, this is also produced by Bootsy, Bootsy Collins as well. It's dripping in post, you know, George Clinton funk funkadelic stuff here but with an 80s twist this came out in 1980 uh, i think it's just self-titled zap album great pickup if you see it check it out then we got uh, something i just recently got in the collection actually um <clears throat> well sort of recent because i've had the cassette for a little while i got i got the cassette i think when i saw these guys live a uh, two-piece band called zom this is actually a split so uh, this is Zom and Shooting Guns, I believe. Himalaya to Meso Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia uh, split, which, like I said, I have on cassette as well. Found this in one of my um, usual uh, digs over at Rotate This in uh, Toronto. And a uh, great cheap price, too, on it. 12 bucks used. It looks completely minty. Um, yeah, Zom are really good. Two-piece, very... Droney, super doom, slow paced metal. I think the project's still going. It was pretty, pretty happening there for a little while. And last but not least, I'm going to close out the whole series with one of my favorite records of all time, actually, in my collection. Uh, definitely my favorite experimental record. Kind of one of the records that kicked off all my interest in experimental music. Drone, noise, abstract, etc going to show my Soviet France record. This is the uh, Mo Moshi Mishi, I think his name, album, double double record. Came encased in these two pieces of wood or panel. So the screen on the panel and uh, rope. I got the record separate from the package at this point. <laughs> but yeah, Soviet France, really cool. You know, radio broadcasts and tape edits and loops and drones and I think it came out like 1980 or 82, very early 80s. Great band. They, they continued on, and there's other recordings, but this has always been the one that I own and love. So, yeah, Soviet France, and that wraps up the Zs, well, XYZ, in this thread. So I'll see you guys soon on another thread. <laughs>